and the sacral angle, and it's going to be in between there, okay? So greater trochanter is there, sacral angle is there. So that's my line, and it's going to be a third of the way. So we're not going half, we're going a third of the way off of the sacral angle. And go ahead, if you can relax for me. Oh yeah, so it's right there. Now you would palpate the sciatic knot for reproduction of symptoms, so like sciatica, okay? Um, in this position, if it's the piriformis that's causing the compression, we've actually stretched the piriformis, and so this will also reproduce their symptoms just being in this position, okay? But for a little of the measurement is, you have to take it from the front, you get so much information by watching the quality of motion, and I can't see the quality of motion if I'm measuring this. So before I would ever take a motion, I would have you turn around for me. And then what I would do is I would, I would locate her landmarks. Okay, so I've done her iliac crest, I've done her PSISs, and what I'd like you to do is bend forward and touch the floor. Okay, and come back up. So she has full range of motion and I don't need to measure that because she was able to touch the floor. What I did learn, and I don't know if you saw Adam, um, go ahead and bend forward again. So what I'm gonna, and I also want to fold the spine. Do you mind if I just fold the spine? Yeah, I'm going to just clip it into your shirt here. There we go, thanks. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to have you do, Maddie, is I'm going to again, um, just so that I have landmarks for you, I would like you to side bend to your left, just letting your left hand slide down the outside of your left leg. Don't let your right heel come up off the ground. Okay, go ahead and slide for me. Okay, and come on back up. So do you, do you, did you see a nice curve when she bent? She hinges right there. So do that again. Okay, a little bit lower. Come on back over, let's see how you look to the other side. Okay, you see how that looks really oh. different from mm -hmm. one side to the other? And come back up. That's more important to me than the number that I get. Okay, I get the number for the insurance company, but just watching the quality <laughs> is what's going to influence my physical therapy exam. Okay, so how you would quantify this? So I would always look at the quality first. I will also tell my patients, um, I would ask, so maybe does it hurt if you bend to your sides? No. And if she said yes, um, I would, you got some weird poofy poofy. So, see now look at, <laughs> I'm finding it in everybody. So it's all, it's probably all in my head. So, um, if she said yes, I would say only go as far as, I want you to knock on the door of pain, but don't go in. Because what we don't want to do is make her more sore from this exam, and we want to know what her available range of motion is and not have her try to go too far. Patients want to please us generally, and so they will go further than they maybe should, and that doesn't inf help inform her PT diagnosis. So this time what I'm going to have you do, Maddie, is I'm going to have you again bend to your left. Good job, not she. Okay, now once you're there, I want your arm to just dangle like this gravity's holding it. And I'm measuring off her middle finger and I'm measuring straight up and down. Good. And come on back up. So I meant to do that because I don't have their body pen. And then you're going to mark 15 centimeters up. Now what you're going to do is let the tape go however it does. It does not need to stay tight to the skin. So do you see that Maddie has a normal lordosis and so it's not tight to the skin. So I'm not holding the tape to the skin to get that 15 centimeters. And then the bottom is PSISs and the top is 15 centimeters proximal. So I've got a mark here and I've got a mark there. Okay, and that distance with her standing up straight is 15 centimeters. So I don't need to leave the tape on there, right? So go ahead and bend forward and touch your toes. And now I'm gonna measure and she comes in at 20, 21, come on back up, 21.9. So she is at almost seven, right? So 6.9 and normal is six centimeters. Hands on your hips, and I'd like you to lead with your head and arch your back backwards as far as you can. 
Okay, and come on back up. There you go. That was 10.8. So that I'm going to document is 15 minus 10.8. So that should be 4.2. Now question, do you put it against your skin? You don't nope, it, it always hangs loose. It always hangs loose. Not your back back there, please. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, charge fifty dollars a pop. Come on back up. So she was at forty two point four centimeters when she extended. So I would I would then subtract her standing up position, this from her standing up position to get her extension. Okay? So the difference here is we've added the thoracic spine. Now the thoracic spine doesn't have a lot of motion because it does have that rib attachment. Okay, so we don't expect to see a lot happen in here and have it mostly happen here and here. I think those are all the to have you rotate, but what I want you to make sure you do is don't try to flex it all. Try to stay nice and straight and just rotate. Okay, so the tape measure approach here is going to be the greater trochanter again. Okay, so right there. And then the lateral acromion. So we're on lateral acromion. Okay, now, um, hold on just a second. Now I'm actually gonna have you turn to your right. So, oops, sorry. My starting position is 68 on the dot. Okay, go ahead and turn to the right. And come on back. No, thank you. You can now she's at 75 at the dot. Oh no, at the left. She's at 74.9. Okay, so I would subtract those and document the difference. In theory, I guess students have tried to make the argument you could go. Um, I'm sorry, go this way and have those get closer to each other and measure the difference. That isn't the standardized approach. The standardized approach is to let the tape become longer with the rotation. Okay. We do rotation in sitting so that you're not getting any kind of rotation through the legs. And so this is the one test that we would do in sitting is for the tape measure rotation. 